Hello everyone. I will be introducing you today to four artists who have greatly influenced me. They have different approaches and styles of painting. I have also gone on to create and copy from their styles. The first is an artist from South Africa. He is very good at using pencil to drawing details. He will use a pencil to draw the details of the object as best he can. One of his paintings often takes between three months and a year to complete. His process requires a great deal of patience and observation. As in this piece, we can clearly see any detail of his eyes, including her pose and the reflections in her pupils. The author has drawn a fountain in the center of the picture. It makes the whole picture interesting. It allows each one person to cut and study the painting for a long time to think about the meaning of the painting. In this drawing, the author shows us his knowledge of the musculature of the human body as he draws each muscle with great accuracy in pencil. He is also very good at showing the texture of the skin. In the pictures, the skin pulls and tear in a way that makes you feel nervous. He is very good at mixing human and animal or plant features too. This type of work is meant to show care of the environment and the protection of animals. Because I like sketching so much, his work has helped me a lot. He gave me a higher goal for detail and a deeper understanding of the relationship between the light and the dark and the musculature of the human body. Every time I start his drawing, I got a lot out of them. The second one is an illustrator from Japan. Her drawings are also very sketchy, but in the form of illustration. He is good at using perspective to show the sense of extension of the picture. Her paintings are immersive. She was very good at painting views of the city. Although the picture is crowded, it is well layered. The subject matter of the picture is very clear. Just the right amount of white space gives the picture a perfect finish. The contrast between the static nature of the building and the dynamic nature of the fingers makes for an interesting work. Her drawing lines for the figures are more on the general side, but the perspective of her work is more special. She often uses an overhead perspective to show a lively figure in her picture. The strong perspective in her work is comfortable to the eye. I realized the important things of perspective in her paintings. And I also understand the importance of the white space in the picture. So I tried to paint a few of them. I studied a lot of her work art. I used the different ways to paint some of the works. I did three paintings in upward looking, downward looking and the normal view. I colored with color pencil. As I was drawing, I found the perspective is the most important things. And if you don't get it right, the picture will be very bad. So I use a ruler to make sketch. Next is an illustrator from China. 
She is good at drawing about Chinese gods, beasts, and monsters. Most of her material comes from the Shanghai Jin. She would take the book's depiction of God and draw them in her style. He would draw very carefully, even if it was a sketch. And she had a very good grasp of the image of God. And she would show all the features and the powers of God in her drawing. Because most of the beasts like look like animals fused together, her depiction. Of animal is also very good. She has her own style of depiction for each animal. She can use the Chinese style to painting clouds, mountains, water, and another natural elements. He learned all this painting technique from ancient Chinese paintings. The color he used are also Chinese style. The element of these two paintings is fire, so she used a lot of orange and red. It makes the picture feel hot, and a sense of burning. These are my favorite work of her, so I copied and created them a long time ago. I used the computer to go and draw some of the works of about the beast of the Shanghai Jin. I also draw this beast by using a mixture of animal features. This is Xuan Wu. Which use a mixture of turtles and snake features. This one is Qilin. It is mixture of deer, horse, and cow. It also has fire on its body. I forgot the name of this one. Uh, the illustrator get me into Shanghai Jin. I learn a lot from her about drawing Chinese elements. Her works give me a lot of inspiration about color. The last one is an illustrator from the USA. He is good at improvisation. His painting are simple, but the process of painting is difficult. His paintings are often used to produce products. He would also paint the wall indoors, or go and paint a car full of them. I worked hard to learn the process of his painting. He teach me that it takes imagination to draw, and I have tried to paint a work. This is the process of this work. Thank you for your watching.